Hi there and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with the video. Today I am going to do a journal flip through of this Princess Aurora or Sleeping Beauty journal that I made from this Disney's Bedtime Favorites. It's a treasury of tales and I have another video where I make ephemera out of it and I used all the Ar Aristo Cats um, story pages. And this book was torn up as it was. And so it was actually pretty easy to just kind of go in for me and uh, go through it. So it had been very well loved by someone and it just made it easier for me to go in and decide to tear it up a little bit more. And it has a lot of the classic stories. I picked it up at a thrift store for just a couple of bucks. So anyway, um, most of the cars pages were torn out. And so I decided after I made the ephemera that it would be really great to use that ephemera in a journal. And so I'm just excited to bring this. I hope that this is just gives someone out there some more ideas. I know I really enjoy looking at other people's journals and, you know, doing the flip throughs especially with Disney, I think it would be kind of kind of fun. So I hope you enjoy this flip through. So one of the first things that I did was I had a piece of costume jewelry, which is just a tiny little rose ring. And it was really small, like my pinky would fit in it. And so I don't really wear it much. And I decided that might be a cute way to embellish the front of the journal. And so that's what I did. I'm not too fancy actually on how I close up my journals and so but I do like to sew in them and what I did was I just tied a strip of this is actually from a curtain and so I that's my dog having a drink in the back just ignore that um but I zigzag stitched this ribbon to the back okay you can stop drinking now okay <laughs> Anyway, uh, it just happens like this. It's kids and dogs, and they know when you're like talking or doing something on the phone or on a video, and so you know that's just how it goes. So, anyway, uh, the ring is tied over here to the side where I stitched in all my signatures, and I always love to stitch from the outside, and then that way I can hang this down as a dangle so you don't even have to have it as a close up. Uh, into the journal. So in the front, I put a see-through piece of embroidered uh, fabric on there, a couple things of scrapbook paper. And then what I did was, this is one of the pages, whoa, okay, that does not open like that. All right, have a paper clip up here. So this is uh, one of the pages from the books, just you can see the size of it. And then I just took it and I folded that up. And on the inside, I put a um, just a piece of writing paper. And then I wrote notes on the back of that and put some lines. It's just another piece of like a cardstock type of scrapbook paper. So put that there. Oh, it was with the butterfly side out. So you can see the butterflies when right through this part, which I stamped. This is also another part of uh, just a bill envelope. And what I like to do, and this is a big bill envelope, I guess a mailer. Um, I kind of cut this out here and then I have just a few things tucked away in here. Just a tag that I made with some writing from my fountain pen inks. Another tag right in here. I'll put this back later. This one is a fold down envelope and I got the idea from Treasure Books and it's really easy. You just fold this up and I have a little surprise in there and then a few tags here. I left the Oklahoma just as a nod to where I live and then I like putting tabs wherever um, I have like these pull throughs. So it's just a calendar page scrapbook paper, a card, a stamp page, and then 
I decided to do some art in this one because it's Sleeping Beauty. Her name is Briar Rose, as many of you know. So I was thinking of rose quotes and then I wrote this one here and drew a rose. But he that dares not grasp the thorn should never crave the rose. And that's by Anne Bronte. And I love classical books. So now that kind of came through in the back, but it doesn't look too bad. Some random scraps of paper, a page out of a planner. Again, I like having some stitching in my journal. So there's a stitch tab up here and then one also here. And then another book page from the treasury, the Disney treasury. And some blank pages for journaling spaces. A little piece of that recycled um, Amazon packaging paper. And I actually have that in uh, another video that I show what to do with that. This is from one of the shirts that my husband bought in a thrift store tag. And this is just some like cereal box, see-through stuff. Here, I decided to do some art and I actually painted this with watercolors and some really beautiful paints. And in the um, Sleeping Beauty movie, the fairies make her a cake. And so I just kind of wanted a little bit of that. It just, it's things that remind me of Sleeping Beauty. So I put those in there and the roses and such. Okay, some more blank pages. And then I just stamped this one because it looked like it needed some help. There's the fairies and back of the journal. Okay, this right here, I wanted to show you because I really do like just using junk or what other people consider junk. So this is the top of a instant coffee bottle and so I just wanted to fold that up and it's a very nice piece of interest plus it's shiny so I'm like a raccoon anything shiny it's gonna go in my junk journal all right so this is a double belly band page here I'm gonna just pause here for a minute this is my tea bag because I love tea with just a little piece of scrap and then some I didn't even staple or do anything I just kind of put a few scraps of paper in there this is a mishmash of fabric and craft paper and odds and ends and bits to make a scrap tag, like actual true scrap tag. Uh -oh. And then this is a part of a card that someone gave me, but I put um, just some coffee dyed paper in there. So this is a double belly band. And if you notice, there's two pieces of fabric and then I stitch them on the bottom and on the top to create that. And so that way you can either put everything underneath or I kind of like alternating. That way you can see it's a two tier. Okay, and on this side I have back of an envelope with a tag, a fold down, nothing really. But I do have a cute paper clip and I have another video on how to make those. And then inside this I have just um, another piece of scrapbook paper and an image from the book and another art and sketch. The more you love roses, the more you must bear with thorns. So there's that. True. Another piece of scrapbook, a bill envelope with just an image out of a magazine of roses and then some ephemera in here. And it's just, again, a little bit of that same paper that I had in the beginning, cardstock, and a few just odds and ends of uh, pieces of paper. This one, oh, that's the big one, okay. Some more scrapbook paper, and I like having them fold out, so I don't always have them the same exact size. Some graphing paper and some stamping in the back of a envelope. This one is the part of the card that was in here, but that's just a thank you from someone. And then, oh, I have some more art in here. Just life is sweet. I was kind of experimenting with some paints on that one, so that one gets tucked in there. A doily scrapbook, and then scrapbook paper with some fabric tabs. Blank sheet, blank sheet, blank sheet, stamped sheet. 
with some washi tape. And then did I, okay, that's part of the scrapbook. Some more pages out of the book. And this one I wanted kind of as a whole image of um, Sleeping Beauty having a good time with her uh, fairy godmothers. And then this is a tiny little notepad. And then a part of that Sleeping Beauty um, card that I had in the other one. And then I just kind of sewed this pocket with a few scrap, uh, scrap pieces of fabric there and some ribbon, I think. Oh, it's trim. Okay, so you can see the stitching behind. Some more paper, scrapbook paper. This is a piece of pretty wrapping paper that I saved. And then this is a part of a ribbon, which I thought was just really pretty. And then I stitched that in here. So I love having stitched elements. That's just a part of what I do with my sewing and also using stamping and a couple different layers to give it a little bit of interest. Part of the doily, another part of the card that was that actually came with that envelope, a part of a coloring page, which I think is kind of fun. Some more art that I made. What's in a name that which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet from Shakespeare. So just taking different quotes. Here's a little pocket on the other side of that bill envelope. And this is from my daughter, and she drew a duck, goose. It's a goose, she's saying, okay. And then there you go. And so, you know, um, something that sparkles, I just love that tucked away in here. This is just some ribbon from pajamas that I got from Victoria's Secret, but I didn't want anybody to know that, so I just put it as a secret. There it is. Now everybody knows, because it's on a video. All right, well, there you go. This is part of a shopping bag and a coloring page. And then another one of these small little booklets that I just paper clipped, and on the paper clip there's washi tape. This is another bill envelope. Actually, I don't have anything in there. I just have this kind of little card paper clipped in here, just like that. Okay, another piece of scrap um, stitched here, a receipt, a part of an old planner, another scrapbook page. Now this is a paper ruffle that Treasure Books um, has a video on on how to make and I just think they're so cool. You just take bits of paper and bits of fabric and then you make this fabric ru ruffle that you can just kind of cut and use and it's ready to have that and so I stamped that on the back after I stitched it. Here's another stamp page with some of that embellishment. Um, one of those, I guess, corner tuck spots with just nothing really on there other than some scrapbook paper, part of washi tape, coffee dyed paper, scrapbook paper. This paper I actually practiced with some inks and it's not like you can see it coming through. So anyway, I thought that's not gonna go into the trash. It's gonna go in my junk journal. And then some other interesting bits of paper. Another page that's sewn and this time I sewed a fabric pocket and then also took a little bit of ribbon and put that on here. Took some more scraps and just put it onto a tag. And that looks like it's part from a card. What's the other side of the graph paper? Plain paper, plain. The other side of the planner, other side of the receipt. And then this one, I, I don't know what I was doing. I just tried to do a few things. I actually stitched a three by five card kind of on this side, that side I glued down. And then I stitched just a scrap ribbon here and then I put a dictionary page on top so on this side it just serves as a tag or a tab I should say and on this side it's kind of hidden but it makes a nice journaling spot and this is the other side of the envelope do I have anything in there oh I do okay it's just a little tag and there's sometimes I put things in envelopes and sometimes I'm like yeah I'll do it later this is another part of coloring sheet. 
And then this page is from a gardening book and it talks about the garden rose and different varieties of it. And so I thought that would be really cute to put in a Sleeping Beauty book. And then this is the other part of that page. And it says development of roses. Okay, um, this envelope I've talked about in that video where I make the Disney ephemera. And so I thought I would put one in here. And so I, I stamped it with a crown for the princess. And then I distressed the edges. And I actually did not decide to glue it down just in case somebody wanted to read a part of the story. But then I just have a three by five card and a part of another card. So there you go. And then I glued another sheet of paper from a notepad in there. And then I just have this paper clip to the back. So that's it. That is my Sleeping Beauty journal. And the tie, it's just an extra long piece of fabric, as I mentioned. It goes around once. It comes around here, slips in through my rose ring, and then continues on back up and around. And I actually just tuck the other part into the ring. And that's my closure. So I hope you enjoyed this little flip through my Sleeping Beauty junk journal. And if you have any questions or just some ideas even for me, would you just leave them down below in the comments? And thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.